Across the decades, the fire appliance has had many iterations. Evolving to reflect the needs of the community. With now being no different. Let's find out what this latest appliance brings to the table. I'm really excited to introduce the new light rescue pump. We really wanted to produce a more agile, flexible vehicle uh, into our fleet. And we've gone through a significant process of collaboration with our staff to really understand that operational need. The main advantage of the light rescue pump, it's a bit shorter and a little bit narrower. So by being slightly smaller, it allows for a smaller turning circle especially in cities, which is key when the roads are a lot busier. So from a rural perspective, we have a big rural area across the organisation. We will attend incidents with narrow tracked roads, overhanging branches, trees, the elements that are roof mounted, the ladder set as an example, we try to keep them as flat and as narrow as possible. It gives us a bit more scope than we've had previously. So what sort of equipment makes up the modern fire engine? And is it what you'd expect? On the light rescue pump, we have a number of cutting tools that we can use for things such as car accidents. We call these our dedicated cutters, dedicated spreaders, and these would mainly be used at incidents where we're attending road traffic accidents. If we need to extricate people from that car by maybe cutting and removing the roof to get that casualty out. Uh, by being battery powered, it obviously means we haven't got to run hydraulic cables out. It means we can get them off, use them a lot quicker, and really get that casualty to the hospital as soon as possible. We all know about the hose reels on a fire engine, but what other equipment is used to fight fires? So one thing our light rescue pump has that our other pumps don't have is something called a UHPL ultra high pressure launch. The main benefits of that really for us is the fact that we can fight a fire externally from that compartment. We can keep that compartment sealed, we can penetrate through a part of the door, the wall, or anything like that with the ultra high pressure launch to extinguish the flames without actually having to send any firefighters straight in there. Also on the appliance, we have a number of different tools such as drills, angle grinders, impact drivers, tools like this that can greatly help us, especially now our role's changing. For example, we get called to incidents where we have to assist the ambulance service with maybe gaining entry to a property. And by having these drills, these impact drivers and tools, we can actually now remove doors and things like that without actually having to cause much damage. We have some LED lights the great thing about these is they're portable, these are battery powered, it makes it a lot easier to provide lighting quickly at an incident. So by using this new equipment, we're actually cutting down on the greenhouse gases that we're letting out into the environment. So what's next for these versatile new appliances? Our intention is to fully embed the 10 light rescue pumps that we have currently. Following that, the intention is to introduce more and during that process we will look to evolve and improve and continue with that element of co-design so that we can produce the assets that our crews need to complete their duties.